And to Senegal and now, the country has officially launched a new 20 megawatt solar power plant in Boko in the country's north. Now, the project follows a COP21 commitment by Senegal's president, Macky Sall, to cut greenhouse gases. Known as Senergy 2, it's part of a two-plant project and is set to provide electricity to around 160,000 people. It's an attractive pr prospect for a nation with a dire energy deficit. Of course, currently, Senegal meets most of its its energy needs by burning imported oil in hugely inefficient uh, diesel generators. Now, according to the World Bank, only 57% of the West African nation has access to electricity. Senegal is hoping to become an example for renewable energy in West Africa, a region that still lags behind in its development and use of the technology. Senegal is now fully entering the era of clean energy helping to save the planet by reducing greenhouse gases. Therefore, from here in Bokol, I call on all partners who want to support us in the development of alternative energy. The best support you can give in this area is to directly support the projects underway or those to come through grants that will make production costs even more competitive in order to lower the price of electricity sold to consumers in the future. Every country needs to diversify its energy sources. In Senegal, solar power has its place. The amount of sunshine here, it's about 40 degrees right now. It's double compared to what solar farm of the same capacity in England or in northern France would produce and allows us to produce electricity at a competitive price. 